This is a continuation of the simple intranet WordPress plugin demo series and today I'm focusing on appointments. So assuming you've downloaded and installed and activated the simple intranet plugin you can go to appointments and we will start with settings. So what we're going to do is set up a basic booking calendar for a boardroom and I will show you the key settings that you're going to need to get started. So we've got the appointments menu here and um, the first setting is time settings or time base. 30 minutes is a good standard amount of time for um, booking blocks uh, within a day and uh, you might want to change it to an hour or less to 15 minutes but it's um, probably a good starting place. Uh, so let's go down to display settings and the first thing you really want to do is create an appointment page. That's basically a page with calendars to uh, book off um, a boardroom for example. I'm going to add the current and next month's schedule calendar and make sure you tick the box there and when you save it, um, if you haven't already, um, the application will save and create a page for uh, for appointments for you. So let's go further on down. Uh, you can select colors, busy and free within the calendar to show uh, times that are available. Um, required fields, name, email, phone, that's uh, good. And um, let's see uh, notification settings. Uh, do you want a confirmation email after each appointment? Yes or no? That might be something that you'd like to uh, toggle. Um, payment not required. Let's go down and see what else we got here. Um, so that should be good. So let's hit saving, save settings. And saving the settings will create an appointment page. So go back to your display settings and let's go and view the existing page um, that was set up and you will see make an appointment. There's a page that's already uh, been created for you. You go down and you can see the conference room. Um, I've already set up a conference room service. Um, I'll show you how to do that and um, calendars if you were to choose a date you could pick a time and then fill out um, an appointment or book the a boardroom press uh, here to click and boom they receive the appointment um, so let's go back in to the calendar or the appointment settings area and we'll uh, see what's happening. So just to, to let you know what the appointments page looks like, when you create an appointment page it automatically creates all these short codes for you so you don't have to do this manually. You might not need them. For example PayPal you don't you might not want to accept payments so you could delete that. Um, it won't show if you're not using it anyway. Um, you might not want to show your personal appointments for each user um, or services but um, these are all likely good things to have for a standard booking system. So there's other tabs you can um, change the working hours of uh, when the calendar is active like you don't work on the weekends for example um, you can go down to hours of the day when your boardroom is available exceptions one thing you do have to do is add a service and um, I've already added the conference room here um, with a capacity of 12 people, 30 minute duration, no price. You can add a new service, just click this button and add another conference room or uh, any other service that you provide and you want to get bookings for or appointments. Uh, it could be anything from uh, consulting or you name it. So service providers, this is optional. You can um, add service providers that will like, fulfill the services in, in the various areas. But for a booking calendar for a conference room, you don't really need this. Um, short codes, here's just a listing of the short codes and what they do. 
but these are generated for you um, so there's no real need um, to actually uh, custom code anything and when you want to look at the appointments that you have you can go to the appointments um, pending appointments and there is one that I just put in for conference room A it's pending so there'll be an email triggered um, to confirm the conference room you can also there's a setting for having uh, appointments automatically go active um, rather than uh, waiting for them to be confirmed or pending um, auto confirm you can change this to yes and uh, the appointments will go straight into the calendar so hope that was uh, helpful